In this workbook, we've got sales data, and I'm going to create a pivot table so I can compare the number of cases that were sold for each product to the total price of sales for each product. To make it easier to understand the data, I'm going to use the rank feature in the pivot table, and that's available in Excel 2010 and later. To create the pivot table, I'll click any cell in this list, and on the ribbon, go to Insert, Pivot Table. It's picked up the name of this table. You could change that if it doesn't get the right range. And I want to put that on an existing worksheet. So I'll click in this box and go to the pivot sheet that I've set up and click the cell where I want it to start. Then click OK. And there's my empty pivot table. I want to have a list of products down the side and then the number of cases sold for each and the total price in sales. So I'll find my product name here, put a check mark, because that's text it goes into the rows area and it's alphabetical. Next I'll put in the cases. When I put a check mark there, because that's numbers it goes into the values area and there aren't any blanks or text in that data, so it shows up as sum. I'll do the same thing for total price. When I check that, it goes into values. So now we have our two sets of numbers, and I'm going to sort by total price so we can see which product sold the best. I'll click in this column, go to the Data tab, and click Z to A so that the largest goes at the top. So our carrot product sold the best, saltines sold the worst. Now if we look at the number of cases for each sale, the order is fairly close. We can see the biggest number at the top and the smallest at the bottom, but there might be some differences throughout the list. We can't sort this list mentally very quickly with these big numbers, but to make it easier to sort, I'm going to use the rank function. I'm going to add another copy of the Cases field. So back to the field list, and I'll just drag this down into the values between the two existing fields. And now this field, I'm going to change the name to Rank. And instead of leaving these numbers, we'll just check first and make sure it's the same set of numbers. And to change these to a Rank, I'll right-click on one of the numbers, Show Values as, and rank largest to smallest. I have to pick a base field. Product is the only row field that I have, but sometimes you'll have a few fields here, so pick the one you need. I'll leave that as is and click OK. So now we can see one, two, and then there's a little switch between three and four, and a little difference here for six and seven, and then the rest follow as the same sequence. So if you use the rank feature on some big numbers, it makes it easier to quickly spot the trend and see if things are in the same order as another column or see where the differences are. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.